Sky Gunner is a third person flight combat simulation game that was released for the PlayStation 2 originally in Japan in 2001 and was later released in other regions in mid 2002 and the game follows the story of three pilots who are hired to protect what is called the Eternal Engine, a unique and special engine that's capable of perpetual motion and their goal is to stop criminal organisations from trying to steal the engine for their own evil deeds. So the game has you flying around in various types of aircraft that is kitted out with a multitude of different weapons and accessories to help you to eliminate and dispatch any enemies within the area throughout each of the levels and you have to complete various objectives within the levels in order to progress through each of the stories based off of the characters in the game. The game itself received favourable reviews across the board with regards to magazine articles stating that they liked the story elements of the game but they also liked the combination of the gameplay elements, the game style, the graphics and visuals and while everything is all tied together to help work alongside the story in the game. So it has enough unique features and elements that actually warrant a few playthroughs with plenty of replay and unlockable features that you will acquire as you play and it has some really nice graphics as it is more of an open world styled environment and it's very different from your typical flight simulation style games although it is more cartoony in its nature but the visuals is definitely one of its highlight features but it does have very easy to pick up and play controls although at the same time it can take a little bit of getting used to for the first few moments but once you've mastered the, di the dynamics of the control system you will have a very fun experience so not only do you have to defeat various enemies you also have to defeat like a larger enemy or ship and you have to destroy various elements on the ship and break it down in parts where you have to destroy various turrets or tanks or weapons and then you have to go for the engines of the ship as well in order to destroy it completely so there's various different types of objectives in each of the levels to complete but the game will let you know that at the start of each level on exactly what it is that you're supposed to do it's actually quite a fun game that's the one thing i can take away from from myself now i'd never played this game leading up to this review and i found by putting some time into it it is really enjoyable and i have to say i found myself getting quite addicted to the game as it has very fast paced and fluent gameplay and it has various trick buttons that you have access to with the flick of a shoulder button you can flip the plane around so you can attack enemies that are trying to hit you from behind so it gives you a multitude of different options that adds a whole different diversity to the gameplay plus you will have regular pop-ups from some of the other games characters giving you hints on what to do next and letting you know of other weapon types and elements that you can use to take advantage of a situation which is pretty cool so it's actually a really nice fun game it has some great graphics it actually has some really nice gameplay and it definitely reflects the reviews that it got and it's definitely in my opinion worth a try and if you do like flight combat simulation games but with a little bit of a twist this is something i definitely think that you should try out it is fun and it is quite addictive and it does have a very good story and it has some really nice elements that works with the missions to keep you playing for a while so i would love to know your thoughts on this game if you have played it yourself and if so what do you think of it overall do you enjoy these type of flight combat simulation games or maybe not so much so be sure to share it down in the comments below and if you have enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to be updated on future videos and if you would like to see more content on the channel around other types of unique and even obscure and quirky games like this that were also released on the ps2 then you can check out the playlist on the screen to see more of those games in action and i will see you all in the next one